What's more glamorous than taking the bus to the gym? All right, we're here in a park in front of the climbing gym doing ABP Springdale today. And the theme of today's video is basically just volume. I'm gonna climb everything, I hopefully everything in the orange uh, circuit, which at ABP, I've said this before in previous videos, but it ranges kind of widely with their grades, which is both, I think, probably good for the setters and for beginner climbers. Myself included, when I started, it was actually at this gym. And it's because they grade everything from like one to three, uh, two to four, et cetera, so on, so on. And the orange grade is three to five, I think, pretty sure. Yeah, V3 to V5. So I'm gonna try and do every available orange boulder in the gym currently. I don't even know how many that is, but I think they're setting part of the gym so I won't have a full sweep. And I'm gonna keep myself to three attempts so if I don't get it within three tries, on the next one. And if I have any fuel left in the tank, then I'll try something a little bit harder as well in the blue and pink circuit. Yeah, just touching on this real quick, I have a bunch of different fitness goals for not only the rest of the year, but for the remainder of this month and August specifically. And one of those is like um, endurance, volume, so that's part of why I'm doing this today. And just to see if I can do it, because I've never really tried before. I've done it with easier grades, but never anything like borderline challenging. Usually I can flash most anything in the orange circuit, but I'm just curious to see how this goes. And in usual Raven fashion, I managed to get here, procrastinate long enough that I got here right at lunchtime. So it might be a bit of a circus and tricky to film, but we'll see, see how it goes. And yeah, anyways, let's, uh, let's get on in there. Yeah, see, that's never a good sign. reasons that I don't usually like filming at this gym so much is not just the fact that it's typically busier than the other ones but also the mats are like really cushy here extra extra cushy and I know some, some people like falling on that I don't like it as much because I feel like my joints kind of twist and turn in weird ways as opposed to a stiffer mat but also uh, filming it's really tricky because if somebody falls like 50 feet away they can still knock my camera over because the entire floor just kind of goes Wah. So, that's why. Okay, well, admittedly, it's not nearly as busy as I thought it would be, so it's a nice surprise. I am thoroughly warmed up, limber, energized. So, I'm gonna start with this orange over here in the dihedral. Looks pretty straightforward, just a bunch of jugs. Ends right on the left side there next to that down climb. Yeah, see how the camera falls over <laughs> when I do? Alright, looking considerably harder with this one. Starts on these two slopers. Goes up to jugs, but then there's a really big move between those two. And that finishes on the hold, not the top of the wall. bad as it looks. Okay, nothing too complex here, just a bunch of shallow jugs and a couple slopers.
didn't do that efficiently, but a flash is a flash, so. Felt like a V2. This one actually looks kind of interesting slash fun. Uh, just a couple holds, starts here, goes up that side pole, and then there's nothing all the way to the top, so I think you just have to like stand up real quick on this. Definitely the most fun so far. Jugs, slopers, and slots. So clearly I was under underestimating myself. So it should just be if I don't flash it onto the next because these are all surprisingly easy. It's like easier than I remember even for this jump. So uh, yeah, we got another aret. Lots of jugs, what more can I say? I think it's probably this one. It's both hands on the volume. Force across some decent feet. Goes to these pinches and then finishes on that pinch right there. So might be semi low percentage, I don't know.
Okay, I think this is Boulder 16 or something. I kind of lost count, honestly, but goes up this overhang. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have no, absolutely no idea what this jug is for, but there's a good amount of chalk on it. I feel like I can just go from the undercling to that. Then bing, bang, boom, jug, jug, jug. This one might actually give me the most trouble out of any of the oranges so far just because I know my own style and those are mostly pinches and slick, slippy holds. It's not an easy flash. Okay, that one had me shaking a little bit. I knew that would give me trouble just on first impression. I know those holds all too well. And then we got this. It's almost like the kitty boulder. I know this is gonna be really easy for the grade. Just uh, stand up basically. Okay, I spoke too soon. That was actually a little bit techy. I don't know if I did it right either, but uh, I have already been over here. Okay, never mind. I did this entire section, except this orange. of a cheater start on that. Let's try that again. Not sure if that really counts as a flash, but I don't know, it's just weird. It looks a lot easier than that is. These holes aren't the best, and that foot is really slippery. Oh shit. I'm sorry, my bad bro, my bad, I just saw it. No worries. So these two holds I should mention are in fact orange. They're just old orange holds, but they look like they're part of the red circuit, so. This number we have it's like kind of a crappy start. Slopey dish foot. Got a pretty good slipper hold. And meh kind of hold over there. And it finishes on a tiny, 
tiny little piece. You can't really even see it very well on this camera, but there it is. good training it's also really boring because I keep seeing all these hard climbs that I want to try <laughs> uh, okay so now we got this orange uh, uh, it looks like it might be a little spicy so you get to that mega hold right there sloper jug whatever you want to call it but uh, yeah, can't, can't climb any of this today. It wraps around most of the center boulders, unfortunately. Well, I say unfortunately, it's probably a good thing because I don't want to climb any more oranges than I have already, really. look easier hard and vice versa. I guess that's just bouldering for you. So we got some, oh, let's see, juggy pockets to start. Kind of like sort of an undercling, baby undercling um, ledge, jug jug, undercling jug, and then the rest are jugs. sort of bad hang, go feet first. Unless you're really strong and you can campus through that, which I am not. from other climbers on that one. I almost fell like three times, but still a flash. That's super, super sick. I love moves like that. It's just the uh, issue is this hold right here, surprisingly, I thought that one was gonna be fine. It's super slick. My foot just kept popping right off. Granted, I wasn't really applying as much pressure as I should have, but I also didn't know if that was the beta or not, so. Yeah, that's actually, that was fun. That was a really good set. Really creative for an orange. <sighs> Out of breath, I need to get some water. A red orange on the vertical. So I, I guess slightly overhung, but whatever. It's, it's basically vertical. It goes up. That's these little crimpy deals, volumes, pinches. Yeah, should go first try.
Okay, I'm not really sure what I messed up there exactly in the in the beta, but that was definitely the ugliest flash of the day. And I smacked my shin. Uh, okay, I think this all might be kind of hard to make out on the camera, but there's two oranges here. One right over by where she is and goes up that way. And there's this one here, finishes just to the right of that. The one on the left finishes on the top of the wall. This one finishes on that jug. Kids came over here at the same time. The summer camp. I know there's one over here that I haven't done on the other side of the cave. A wild Santiago has appeared. <laughs> this guy was in the very first video I ever posted on uh, the climbing channel. Number one, first yep. video. Back in 2020, in the before times. Okay, while well, Santiago crushes something that's actually hard, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> uh, Orange number 20 something, I don't know. that style. <laughs> Except clearly Omar is a much better filmer than me. Okay, I could be wrong, but I think I only have two left. And then I'm so done. Uh, I mean, actually, I'm not done. I'm gonna go use the regular gym as well, get some cardio and light resistance, resist, resistance training done. And then I'm gonna go get lunch because I'm starving. So. Yes, so, no, I have three left, god damn it. Okay, so, <laughs> um, got all that taken care of. Now I just have this one. I'm filming myself. Uh, this one here, that looks super chill. This one looks a little tricky. I don't know, just works against the volumes and some big um, sort of geometric shapes. And then the one that I couldn't do over there because the cavalry of screaming children came over. So, start with this one, and then get the other two, we're done. Dude, I'm so sorry. Hey, I sat near your camera, I'm sorry, bro. Oh, it's all good. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah thanks, man. small caveat if you're familiar with this gym there's a uh, there's a kids room a kids room off that way into the right it's mostly like a team kids training area slash spray wall there's like two oranges in there they're really easy I'm not counting those in this video so give me flack if you wish that I didn't do all of them but that's not really I'm not too concerned with it so on to this number
That was sketchy as shit. Not only have I miscounted the remaining boulders, but I'm done describing the moves. I'm just doing it. That's it, I'm done. I just did a full sweep. I walked around in the entire gym to make sure there was nothing I missed. And aside from the aforementioned uh, kids room, and then of course the area over there that they're resetting, done them all. I don't even know how many boulders it was. I'm gonna have to go back and review the footage, but uh, something cool, one of the route setters, this dude, uh, uh, what do you say, his name was Aaron. So some guy named Aaron, he recognized me from this channel, which is pretty cool, so. I had that and actually a Liverpool regular at the bar that I work at recognized me as well. So amazingly people are watching these videos, so I'll definitely keep making them. I mean, I'd keep making them regardless because it's fun to do, but I'm happy that people are actually watching this stuff and enjoying it. So uh, that being said, thank you very much for watching. Got a lot more in the pipeline, a lot of uh, like training vlogs and whatnot, which I'm excited to share with you. So yeah, that's it. Raven signing off. I'll see you next time. Bye.